Hello guys, this is Gabitech. Welcome to news video number two. Today I'll present you some interesting news starting with Noctua Redis high performance fanless heating building on 2019 prototype. That's amazing. A lot of people like to have the most quiet fanless heating building ever. Noctua is reportedly working on high performance fanless CPU cooler. Fanless CPU cooler. Like people are getting even more and more into this stuff. The more crazy it looks, the better. The prototype is from 2019, was uh, exhibited in last year Computex. You can check it here. That's the fanless cooler. And the final product should be launched within 2020, according to Overclock 3D report. There is nothing interesting more than this, but I know that for starters, last year prototype was capable of handling 120 watt TDP in PC cases with good nature of ventilation and up to 180 watt in cases with quiet fans. The company used the Core i9-9900K in variety of workloads as a proof of heatsink capabilities. The prototype heatsink was also shown offering decent amount of clearance with the motherboard's memory and VRAM array. It's only bad st stuff, you can see it's a little bit huge and it's almost 2kg. Intel Core i9-10009K push up to 7.7 GHz under liquid helium cooling. I want to tell you that liquid helium cooling is extremely expensive and a lot of people can't afford it, that's why they still do it with the liquid nitrogen. But Asus recently sponsored somebody to do it with an Asus ROG Maximus Apex motherboard was used for the feed with DDR4 4400 memory. Also Windows XP was used to support the Asus Turbo 5 v Core 2 with the CPU Z validation here. Let's check the video. Elmore Labs. This is a little bit mental, I would say. You will see how many people are gathered up uh, in one place. The, the first one that I was no, the first one... Asus always wants yeah, to the, be the best. The, the one that I just tried again. Yeah. I, I set it up and it was zero, zero. But that was the second chip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> First they were using liquid nitrogen. Like L3 cache per core is more. Oh, oh, oh. I don't think you have that one. That's completely yeah, mental. Wasa and all this, it's like uh, 200 milliseconds in one end. See? <laughs> So liquid helium is colder than liquid nitrogen. Yeah. It's inert gas and it's very expensive to produce. Minus 208 degrees, that's uh, extremely amazing.
AMD reposition Ryzen 9 3900X at $410, threatening both i9 10900K and i7 10700K. That's uh, AMD always uh, does that. They like uh, dropping their prices, and that's why that's like they push Intel also to do the same. That's why I expect Intel to drop prices also. AMD marshaled its retailer ecosystem to cut pricing of its 12 core 24 thread Ryzen 9 3900 X processor down to $400 almost. At this price, is poised to threaten to the both 10 core Core i9 10900K and the 8 core 16 thread Core i7 10700K. So, although bearing at $689, the i9 10900K is seen going for upwards for $510. The i7 10700K, on the other hand, is around $410 mark. But AMD, AMD also always like to drop prices. I love them. I love them how they push into to the wall. The hardware unboxed review of the i9 10900K shows that it taking roughly 7% lead in the gaming performance on were the 3900X, while falling 12% behind in the multi-thread compute performance. As I said, AMD is always better like working like, for example, for YouTubers, I found AMD extremely good and I think I will do a PC with AMD build because they're super effective. Okay, Intel is uh, very good at gaming, especially in 1080p, but when you go to 4K and 2K, the frames are not that impressive. GSQ 3 then Zero achieves new DDR for 6,666. Look at that number. No, nothing wrong with it at all. World record with Asus ROG Apex for a Maximus motherboard. It gives amazing speed of 6,666 DDR speed. That's pretty amazing. Look at that motherboard. That's the Extreme Overclockers motherboard and the beautiful RAM on top of it. Okay, thank you very guys, much guys for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe and wait the last news I have prepared for you for today.